so in this video we will be installing angular material for our project angular uh, 8 project so basically angular material is uh, you no know, we're going to use some of the components from uh, angular material uh, so some of them are really good uh, lo good looking components so let me just show you what those are so let's type angular material in Google and um, let's have a look at some of the components that they have maybe a checkbox so you can see some really nice animations let's take a look at the date picker so so that's how it is um, let's take a look at input which is something that I like so we have input like this so this, there are several components that are available in um, material UI so we're gonna use some of those components in our project so let's click on the guides and getting started to start installing material design for our project so we have to execute this command npm install angular material cdk and uh, angular animations let's copy this this command and uh, so you have to be inside the project folder so let's stop this server for now uh, we'll restart it later to stop you have to write control c and uh, yes uh, y okay <clears throat> so now let's um, paste the command npm install save angular material cdk and angular animations click on enter and wait for some time to you know, uh, let the angular material design to get installed on our project So meanwhile, we'll look at the other steps. So this is an alternative. Uh, so let's look at step two, what that says. So once the animation package is installed, import browser animations module in your object. So we have to copy this import browser animations module, this line, and also import in the import section. Let's see the progress. It's almost complete. So let's go to app module dot ts and we have to paste the code here okay let's paste here the import as well as we have to import it inside this imports section so we have to copy this browser animations module put a comma and paste the browser animations module in the imports section the installation is done let's look at another step step 3 to import the component modules uh, we'll do it later include a theme so let's go with the default theme just copy that and paste it in the styles.cs here okay that will import the css and then there's something called gesture support uh, some of the components need gesture support let's install that one as well npm install save hammer.js what next we have to import hammer.js in main.ts file so let's go to main.ts file and paste the import statement that's done last one is the optional material icon some of the material icons are uh, good material icons uh, I guess we can open it here let's see if we can no. so we'll say material icons So this is how the icons are. You can use basically use it in your you know instead of regular buttons, 
So you can, you can use these icons uh, the way you want to. So let's link the reference to that icons in the index.html. Let's go to index.html and paste it after the bootstrap style sheet import. Okay. <clears throat> so I think that is it. Now let's just uh, start the server and uh, test the try to import some of the material design components inside our you know, uh, app component page. So let's say ng serve dash dash open to start the server and uh, open up the browser. let's click on components and uh, maybe try with this input component okay so before you know including the code to you know display the components you have to import them okay so if you go at the api section api tab you'll get the import statement just copy the import statement before using any of the components you have the components you have to import something so you copy that import statement and go to app module dot ts just paste it here and copy the same thing and paste it in the imports module in the import section now you can use the components so let's just copy these input components and paste it inside the app component dot html so we'll paste it after the angular button click on save it should ideally reload okay let's try to reload so you can see the component angular material component okay so that's about installing angular material to our project